Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm technically in Bernie, Texas, but I'm more closer to the Guadalupe River State Park, just off Highway 46, and it is a beautiful, quiet community. The house I'm doing a video tour of today is in the Waterstone uh, community, and it's on almost 10 acres with the Guadalupe River access. And uh, the house is almost 3,600 square feet, and it's a three bedroom, three bath, built in 2002. So let's go check it out. Now the builder of this beautiful custom home is Genesis Custom Home. The uh, owner is the original owner of this house. She had it built in 2002. She is an architect, so she has done a lot of uh, unique custom stuff. Um, let me walk up here, kind of show this neighborhood. This is an exceptionally quiet neighborhood. Um, it's about five miles, eh, maybe only four or five miles north of Highway 46 um, near the Guadalupe River State Park. This isn't a big giant community. There's only about 200 houses in it. Most of them are gonna be uh, between two and five to, well, two to 10 acres. Um, the houses that are on the Guadalupe River here tend to be a little bit larger lots. Like I said, this one is, to be exact, 9.81 acres, so it's a big house. I'm going to pause for a second. All you can hear is the water feature. This is the epitome of a quiet, secluded place, and uh, oh my gosh. I do want to highlight the land, and I will be going down toward the river and showcasing that. But first, let's go inside this beautiful home. Such a cool entryway. I mean, you do have the water features on both sides. Um, talking to the owner, they said right now she treats it with chlorine. But if you wanted to have it as a koi pond, you could. Uh, something else I want to kind of point out, when you're buying a house that was built by an architect, you get some unique features and some forethought in it. You see on the gutters, uh, when we do have good rain, the water gutters drain into here so it helps save water cost and keep the water levels up. Kind of neat. All right, let's head inside this beautiful home. I mentioned this house was built in 2002, so some of the stuff can look a little dated, but some paint and some changing out a few small things can make a world of difference. Now, uh, just looking at the water features when you walk in, it's just really cool. They have done some uh, smart home technology already where all the lights are wired into one switch. Let me step down here. Cool little staircase, there's an office upstairs and it does go to an upstairs balcony and we'll look at that in a little bit. But the, the architect slash owner who built this house really wanted to focus on bringing the outdoors in to this house and they really did a great job with it. Let's just look at it, the rock goes all the way up. So cool. All right, let me hit back to the secondary bedrooms first, and then I'll check out the unique owner suite. She's got some hydroponic stuff going right there. Some step downs. We're gonna start with this back bedroom and kind of work our way up. But yeah, just beautiful out here. Do have the tray ceilings. All these speakers are wired to one central spot and I'll, I'll show it kind of give me a flashback to the 90s how they've got the electronic equipment wired but this room will have its own private bath big tall ceilings um, does have like I said its own shower right there like I said plastic but that's an easy change if you wanted to upgrade to a little higher end and an own their own big walk-in closet that's got attic access up there too. Kind of neat. So perfect for if you want to have long-term guests and wanted them to have their own wing of the house. 
Gus. Just the little things that kind of keep, they got the little doors there. She does have two small, really cute little doggies and you can block them into a certain area if you wanted to for entertaining. The, uh, another full bath is kind of more open to the public. Lots, lots and lots of built-ins in this house. So yeah, lots of cabinet space, space built in. Like I said, if the dark wood tones aren't your cup of tea, a little coat of paint can uh, really do everything up nice. All right, let's go check out the kitchen slash dining room area. This fireplace is super cool because it does go all the way up and it's a double-sided fireplace. Let's take in this rock entry to the dining room. Got a little step ups going to the dining room. Not If you have little kids, maybe this isn't the most kid-friendly place, but check this out. That's really cool. But uh, if you're looking for a house that can be a really neat, entertaining house, man, this is it. The other side of that fireplace. But there's some really cool water features that I'm going to show you a little bit later. This is going to be your main kitchen area. Like I said, it's a little bit different style than what you see in more modern houses but uh, it's very nice. Um, this house does have a buried propane tank and talking to architect, if you wanted to make this into a gas uh, cooktop, it'd be very easy to just run the gas line down through this wall here. So don't let that be a deal breaker, but there is a pop filler there, big, big sink. And they've kind of, they've got the, uh, built-in look for the dishwasher and the refrigerator so it's kind of neat all right you do have a good size pantry tucked away here and it goes up pretty tall Ooh, I think I might miss the bedroom back here because I know there's another bedroom I'm wondering if one of those closets what I thought was a closet might be another bedroom so bear with me as I walk back through this area. Because she told me that there is a washer and dryer hookup. Let's see, I think this might, okay. Okay, here it is. So this is another bedroom. Also, Built-in speakers, tray ceilings, view of the water feature. Oh, somebody else had asked me about a home shop vac thing. So they do have that where you can plug your vacuum cleaner in wherever you wanted to. And yeah, that's what, looking around, there's gonna be some ports in the house for plugging that whole home vac system. Okay, we already saw, that's the bathroom. Let's see, I know there's a, oh. okay, this is the secondary washer and dryer hookup room. So if you had someone staying in this room, they could put a washer and dryer in right here and do their own laundry. Kind of neat. Okay, sorry, kind of bad videoing, but I didn't want you to miss anything. Does have the built-in power cables, uh, the floor power. All right, let me just skip through here because this uh, let me go hit the outside area first because that bathroom is going to be the unique bathroom, most unique bathroom I have ever seen in my life. So I want to save that for last. But wow. 
Oh, that's almost a three shot. Okay, that is a completely separate fireplace outside. If you wanted to host a corporate uh, party out here, this is such a cool space to do it in. And if you see the wood up here, there's also a beautiful upstairs place. You do have your fridge, your little beer fridge set up, wet sink area. You just need to bring in a bartender out and you're good to go. But this beautiful little mini pool, perfect for getting in and just cooling off, hanging out a little bit, have a margarita and relax. But, uh, oh, that's got also, like I said, these did the same thing up front where rainwater comes in here and it gets chlorinated. But check out the views from back here. Uh, the horse arena, that's gonna be the neighbor's property, but this is the property part of this almost 10 acres in the Guadalupe Rivers just down there. And trust me, we are gonna go down there. But you do have access to this patio for multiple spots. That's the hallway we just walked twice. Or no, this is from the main living area here, yeah. Main living area, that's the end of the hallway. So if you did have someone stay in that back room, they can have their own little private entrance going back there. But, oh, I want to show you something else that's really unique. Let me flip a little switch here. Check out this feature. How cool is that? That is super cool. But it is kind of noisy, so I'm gonna turn it off. All right. I'm gonna go upstairs. I can go upstairs from the outside staircase. There's two ways to get to the upstairs section. Let's take the outside. Talk about, like mentioned, the hosting big parties. Just so much outdoor space right here with these views. Just incredible. They've got another sink back here. Perfect. I mean, just having your lounge chairs just hanging out and I can just see people socializing out here and just having a good time. But wow. Yes, I'm focusing a lot on these views because it's breathtaking. Cool. Such a unique property. Now, before you start asking the price, this just came on the market and they are asking 1.5 million. For a 2002 house, it was a regular house, they'll be like, hmm, that's kind of high. But for 10 acres on the Guadalupe River, that's not so bad. All right, we are still upstairs. That little spiraling staircase that's in the main living area. She has this being used as our own office. So you can get away from everybody and do some work up here. Just so much natural light coming in. All right, let's head down these stairway and uh, check out this owner suite. All right, we are now back downstairs. There's the kitchen. I remember I mentioned I had the flashback to the 90s. Um, all the speakers and electronics are wired into this location right here, but uh, they still got the road, rotating CD cases and uh, is that, I'm sure there's a, no, no tape deck though. But we do have the CD cases, it's kind of cool. But all, all the electronics are kind of wired in there. So it's kind of just 
interesting, but not as interesting as what you're about to see. Check this out. This is an indoor shower that makes you feel like you're outdoors. This has two rain shower heads. Yes, what you're seeing actually is the shower. So you have a step down, all the controls, three rain showers set up, um, talking to the owner slash architect of this house. She really wanted to make an outdoor feeling spa inside the bathroom. So they definitely did this. I've never seen this before in my life. And it's, you're either gonna love it or hate it. And I'm like, I'm kind of digging being able to wake up and get in a shower right there every morning. Like that is pretty cool. And just seeing the ceilings, the tray ceilings with the beams, so cool. They do have a beautiful freestanding tub set up. And of course, another fireplace right there. So if you want to sit here and drink your glass of wine and uh, have a little fire going, perfect. Now this is actually the owner suite right here too. So it's all interconnected where you have the other two-sided uh, fireplace, plenty of space for your king size bed with once again, tray ceilings with built-in speakers and can lights. But this is such a cool little spot. Over here you have a, a little sitting area. She uses it as her workout room and a coffee place. So very neat, got your own little sink, set up your coffee and got your, this does not convey, but she's got a built in to where she does all of her work right there from the treadmill while walking. Very cool. So let me walk through this bathroom one more time because I haven't shown you the, the closet yet. Go around this side this time. Because this closet is something to see. Check it out. Plenty of room. You got your off season stuff. Hope I don't make you dizzy, but this is a big closet. This is only part of it. Here's the rest of it. So you can get completely dressed and ready in here. Got all your drawers, granite countertops, another closet space with a shoe rack that goes all the way up and a skylight for natural lighting in here. More little stuff and another nook for more closet space, your off season rack and a regular light. And right off the closet, I'm looking for the light switch. Oops. Okay, I don't see a light switch. It's in here, there it is, okay. You do have a sink for doing laundry right in, right outside your master bedroom closet. Washer and dryer, plenty of cabinets. Even got an ironing board set up there. Very cool. With two access points to this closet. Still just can't get over this bathroom. That is such a unique bathroom. And dual vanities as well. And your water closet. All right, I'm just like one last look at this cool bath, the shower area. Very neat. All right, just saw that they got little lights lighting up the steps so you don't fall over. Like I said, you got access to the porch from really anywhere in this house. All right, I wanna go outside now and head down to the Guadalupe River just to kind of showcase just how awesome this location is. All right, well, we'll see you outside. All right, before we go all the way down the Guadalupe River, 
Uh, I want to show off kind of some other stuff that's on this side of the property, including the garage. There is a full barn down there. We're going to get to that too. But just the rock walkways going down to everything. That is super cool. The seller is here, talked to her quite a bit, super nice lady. She said the neighbors here are phenomenal. Um, and the only reason he's selling is it's just her and this is just too big of a house for her. Um, but wow. But I definitely wanted to show off the garage and I told her, I was like, if someone wants to buy this house, they're not gonna worry if the garage is a little messy. But I do have a full, super tall garage and uh, very neat. So, yep. All right, I think I'm gonna take my truck down to the river and uh, show you that now. Never mind, I don't need to take my truck. It's not that hot out here. It's only about 88 degrees right now. But uh, upgraded three-dimensional shingle tiles. Notice they do got some kayaks because you don't wanna live on the Guadalupe River and not have kayaks. And this is a perfect spot for if you wanted to put in here at the house and pull out at the Guadalupe River State Park. So uh, yeah, let me go figure out how to get into uh, this little barn entrance area. This is a water retention tank. And also, she told me that they do have a pipe going into the Guadalupe River that can be used for pulling water out to water the area. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to get in here. All right, that's the house up the hill a little bit, the water retention area, extra storage space, and then a neat little barn slash other storage spot. So if you had some mowing equipment, you can do that. Um, and a cool neat little rock walls set up back here. Speaking of mowing equipment, um, taxes, and a property like this having an ag exemption is very important for keeping your property tax down. Um, from This is what the owner told me. It's like as long as you have someone come out and kind of harvest the grasses here and use it to make hay, you can use that and still keep maintaining the current ag exemption that's on this property. So you're not paying outrageous taxes on it. All right, let's head on down. All right, this gives you a good view of the property. Very flat, nice and grassy. You do have a horse pen back there. Uh, she used to have horses, she no longer does. But um, this is the property here and this is kind of like the little easement drive path to get down to the river. And of course, this is gonna be your neighbor's property. But it is so quiet and nice out here. All right. Let's head on back down towards the river. All right, we're now on the back part of the property. You see lots of deer running through the trees right there. Got a little ant spot. There's the deer. See if you can see them there, a little white tail. Like one thing you're not gonna have a shortage of is deer out in this part of Texas. And there you are, there's a big, big group of them. And down there's the Guadalupe River. Let's get a little closer. All right, here's the river. Some very large birds just flew off. Didn't get to see if they were cranes or not. They probably were. But uh, very calm, relaxing part of the river right here. Very slow moving. But lots of beautiful cypress trees along it. All right, she said there's a spot that makes it a little easier to, if you wanted to get in and access the river. Let's just let's see if I can find that. All right, a little more river footage. You got some nice rocks area there, shallow spot if you want to go wade out and do some fishing, or a great spot for putting your kayak in. And like I said, just down river a couple miles, that's where the Guadalupe River State Park is. So perfect for having that quiet, peaceful kayak ride down to it. And I have done a video on the Guadalupe River State Park, so make sure you look at that. All 
All right, this space here would be really nice. Clean up this tree a little bit and you've put some type of rock patio type area. It's a nice little level spot with views of the river. And from there, it's easy enough to put some type of staircase or something going down to the river itself, just so it makes it easier access to get to the river itself. But such a cool place to have. And trust me, people pay a lot to have private river access to the Guadalupe River. And where we're located, we are west of Canyon Lake. So this will be considered Upper Guadalupe. And like I said, mentioned a couple times, the state park's just down the road. And it's a really cool state park. Definitely check out that video. Let's take a walk around here, show you a little bit more. You can see the fence line just up there, but her property goes all the way down to the river. So yeah, you could do the same thing right here just as easy building your patio type thing a little rock wall and hosts little events down here and uh be down the river all right let's go see what just ahead up here A oh, cool little ledge. All right, this gives you, I guess, a little drive down space from the back part of her property. And uh, get you real close to the river right there. So that'd be kind of neat. So yeah, you could even do your patio thing right up that high too. All right, let's head back up top. I just love the Guadalupe River, so that's why I'm out here so much. All right, we're gonna head back up to the property. Like I said, this is what's for sale right here. And this is someone else's land. All right, that's going to wrap the tour of this very beautiful and unique property uh, just outside of Bernie, Texas. Um, as far as conveniences to like where the grocery stores are, you have an HEB, which is our local grocery store. It's about a 15 minute drive to the one in Bernie and also about another 15 minute drive to the one off of 281 and 46. So you get to pick which one you want to go to at this location. Anyways, this house, remember it's listed for about 1.5 million. Very beautiful, very quiet, with that beautiful Guadalupe River access. All right, that's going to wrap it up for now. Make sure you like and share my videos. All right, take care now. Bye.